Hello and welcome to ESA Web TV. I'm Sue Nelson and I'm at the IABG Space Test Centre near Munich. The spacecraft you can see behind me is Solar Orbiter and it's here because it's undergoing a series of crucial tests before launch and here to tell me a little bit more about it is Cesar Garcia who's the project manager for Solar Orbiter for ESA. Caesar. Hello, Sue. First of all, could you begin by explaining what is Solar Orbiter? Well, Solar Orbiter is a science mission that will get close to the Sun to take crucial measurements and trying to find out how the heliosphere of the Sun is operating and is working. And to do that, um, it carries a series of instruments, actually 10 instruments. Uh, some of them will be taking in situ measurements, they will be taking in particles as they come out of the Sun before they get further away and then they get all uh, mixed up in turbulence. And at the same time, they, it will be taking remote images and spectrographs of the Sun surface, of the Sun corona and of the Sun heliosphere to try to correlate what happens in those areas of the Sun with the uh, of, uh, particles which are also collected. It'd be quite good to explain why we're both wearing these hats and the bunny suits and the protective covering. Okay, we have to be uh, crucially careful with the contamination that uh, gets close to the instruments of solar orbiter because they are very sensitive to that contamination. There are two kinds of contamination, there are particles and there, are, there is molecular contamination as well, which one could explain as the smell coming out of new materials. Uh, all these type of, both types of contaminations, if they, they can confuse the sensors when they take the measurements or actually block the, uh, the cameras or the telescopes or the sensors. So we have to make sure that everything is extremely clean near, near um, solar orbiter. What type of tests are going on in here at the moment? What we are doing now is what we call vibration tests. We want to expose the spacecraft to the conditions similar that, uh, to what the spacecraft will see when it goes up on top of the rocket. What we are doing now is what we call the sign test, and the sign test is a, uh, exciting the spacecraft, mechanically moving the spacecraft, uh, either five times per second and slowly going up until 100 times per second. And we do that to make sure that the spacecraft will not break once it goes on top of the rocket away from the Earth. Once the vibration tests are over, what are the next tests that are going to be happening between now and the launch? Well, following the sign vibration test, we will put the spacecraft in a chamber with thick walls where we will subject it to an acoustic test, which is basically um, having a, a very, very loud acoustic noise around the spacecraft. Following that, we will take it into uh, another special chamber with um, spiky walls and a very absorbing material, and there we will do a test of magnetic compatibility, electromagnetic compatibility. And finally, we will take it to a wooden building where we will measure the magnetic signature of the spacecraft itself, as some of our instruments are extremely sensitive to magnetic fields, and we want to make sure that the instruments will not be measuring the spacecraft itself. So, quite a few tests before launch, and then it will launch from NASA. It will launch from the Kennedy Space Center. A solar Orbiter is a collaboration mission between ESA and NASA, and the main NASA contribution is twofold. It's one of the ten instruments, and the second contribution is the launcher services, the rocket and all the antennas and all the infrastructure around the launch uh, event. Cesar Garcia, thank you very much indeed. Thank you.